It was Penn State's military appreciation game, and the Nanny Lion faithful needed a convincing win in this one. After an interception on the first drive, the Lions would score touchdowns on the next six out of seven drives. Star tight end Tyler Warren got the ball rolling, catching a touchdown late in the first, but he didn't stop there. With some trickery, he threw a 17-yard touchdown pass to Nick Singleton, but the real QB1, Drew Aller, had a monster day with only four incompletions. He would throw for over 300 yards and three touchdowns, also running in one before the half. His longest touchdown was for 59 yards to Amari Evans, a player who head coach James Franklin raved about post-game. He's practicing more consistent. He's competing more consistently. He's gaining confidence. And I think I told you guys, if he had some success, it was, it was Corey that could go through the roof. Safe to say it was a smooth day for the Nittany Lion offense and a great one for James Franklin's defense. They held Kent State to only 67 total yards of offense while pitching a shutout. And with Penn State's 56 to nothing win, they would move up in the national rankings to number nine. And Franklin had a huge message for next week's game. From the fans, we need this place rocking next week. Uh, I'm calling for white out energy. Everybody got me?